doesn't have video or audio. Um, that's true. That's fine. You shouldn't. <laughs> okay. Got confused. Okay. So, um, let's see. Any other introductions? Uh, I want to say a quick thank you um, before we start to Darlene Hamilton and Lindsay Verbal of um, uh, the Historical Tea and Dance Society. They've been awesome in helping me set this up and helping me, you know, use their Zoom and everything like that. So I'm grateful to them. Um, and then um, I'm also want to thank Bare Necessities who uh, gave me permission to use their beautiful music in this um, class. Uh, if you're willing to, uh, if you have any money to spare and are willing to give a contribution to them or to myself, I would be grateful for that. Uh, we'll put the splash page up at the end and you can get that information and we'd both be very appreciative. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, so I guess let's get started, right? That's what we want to do. Um, <laughs> so you can stand up. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to make this big so I can look at myself. <laughs> because I'm that vain. No, I just want to make sure you can see. Okay, so sometimes I may go out of screen, out of uh, the shot, and forgive me for that, but hopefully you can see the important parts, right? You want room to your side, to your front, as much room as you have, but you know, obviously whatever you have. And if you're just watching, that's fine too, not a problem. Okay, so um, we're gonna do some stretches. I'm gonna put some music on and I'm gonna try to talk over the music. Hopefully you can hear me talking over the music. Um, if not, jump in the chat bar or something and uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, yes, we're recording the video and we will uh, post it um, on Facebook later, I think. Okay. Um, oh yes, so we're going to do some, some basic warm-up stretches. Um, again, they're mostly ballet-like, a little bit jazz-like also. And, uh, um, oh yes, thank you, Darlene. I forgot to remind you. We are recording now. Uh, and I will say that, you know, we're all, none of us are quite used to this working from home thing and uh, telecommuting and telezooming or whatever it is. So this is all a work in progress. We're all kind of figuring it out as we go. Um, but hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be, we'll be okay. All right. Okay. So if you're ready, hopefully you're ready. We're going to stretch. Do you need to exit? <laughs> <laughs> My husband Alex is just signing off of work, so he's going to leave quickly before. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, we're going to do some stretches. You're going to reach up with the right hand. You can't see me, but that's okay. You're going to reach up with the right hand and step on the. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to say. Listen to what I say, not what I do. I'll try to. Yeah, I'm going to say right but it'll look like my left to you. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're gonna stretch, reach up and step at the same time, then the other side, three, four, and then both hands and press the air down. Okay, we'll do that again, two, three, four. Press the air down and then we'll arch your back, bend your knees and fold down to the floor or as close to the floor as you are willing to go right? Uh, and we'll do a stretch here. One more disclaimer, make sure you listen to your body, okay? We all have different, you read this in the Google form, hopefully, we all have different uh, levels of ability and experience and uh, stretchability, you know, all of that stuff. So listen to your body, don't do anything that's going to hurt you, okay? Um, it's okay to push yourself a little bit, but we don't want any injuries, okay? So if you don't feel comfortable, you know, do as much or as little as you feel comfortable with, okay? Uh, sorry, there's a couple of raised hands. Okay, there's no music yet. I haven't played it yet. Okay, so, um, <laughs> so we're gonna reach two, three, four, stretch open, then bend your, um, we're gonna do a flat back, and fold down and then we'll stretch there if you want to if you can straighten your knees go ahead 
If you need to keep them bent, that is fine. Listen to your body. We'll hang here for a bit. We'll shake our head yes, shake our head no. Just make sure everything's nice and loose and relaxed. Um, and then we'll, yeah, okay. Then we'll bend the knees, tuck the pelvis into place, and roll up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Leaving your head heavy, head and neck, neck and head for last. Okay, and then we'll do that again. We'll do a few more things. We'll also just roll down from the top and stretch and then roll back up. We'll do it with music, hopefully. Um, we'll also do this interlace behind the back, interlace your fingers and stretch back and then lean forward. Straight knees if you can. Hang there for a second. Let the gravity bring your arms forward. And then we'll let go. Watch the wall and stretch down again, etc., etc. So on and so forth. Um, maybe do a couple other things in there. I think you'll be able to follow along, hopefully. And uh, okay, here we go. And where am I? Uh, sorry, one second. I want this. Music's playing, hopefully you can hear it. Here we go, ready? Stretch up, here we go, and reach. One, two, three, four, press the air out, down. Six, seven, nice and slow again. Reach, two, three, four, and stretch. Good. Flat back, bend your knees, and fold down. Stretch through the back of the legs. Try to stretch as much as you can, but listen to your body. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Nice and relaxed. Bend your knees, stay down, and then try to straighten them again. And bend your knees and roll up nice and slow. Tuck the pelvis under. One vertebrae at a time, nice and slow, keep your head heavy. Take it out. And we'll do all that again. Do all that again. Ready? Reach up. And reach. Two. Three. Four. And press. Two. Three. Do it again. Reach up. Two. Three. Four. Press. And melt down. Flat back. All through. Floor. Try to straighten your legs if you can. And bend your knees and then straighten them again. Stay down low. If you're touching the floor and want to walk your hands forward, you can do that. And then walk them back. Take your head yes. Take your head no. Bend your knees and roll up, nice and slow. Good, interlace your fingers behind your back. Look up. And fall forward, come forward. Let the weight of your hands bring you forward. Relax your neck, relax your head. Take a deep breath in, and then let the hands go. Good, bend the knees and roll up. Hi, kid. <laughs> exercise this. Good. 
Let's lean over to the side. Keep your hips square, don't let them fall, right? Nice and lifted, arm reaching toward the side wall. And just stay there. Good, and then to the other side. Reach to the side wall. Get square, try not to crunch through here, right? Nice and long. Good. And do a nice deep plie. Leave your uh, feet out, turn your feet out. Nice deep bend, as deep as you feel like you can go. Um, remember, listen to your body, not too much, yeah? You can put your shoulder forward. Shoulder. And then turn your feet forward and lean over again. Relax your head, relax your neck. And bend your knees and roll up. Good, shake it out. All right, how are we feeling? Everyone good? Sorry, trying to go back and forth between my music and the screen. Um, good, all right. Thank you, okay, good. I hope you're having fun. I hope you can hear me well enough and, and or see what I'm doing, at least enough to kind of follow along. I'm throwing some extra things in that I didn't explain at the beginning, but such is life. <laughs> uh, roll with it, right? That's what we're all doing, okay. Um, so, uh, sorry, let me, um, one second. So we'll move on to, uh, actually, oh, I wanna talk about posture for a quick second. I probably should have done that before um, doing that, but that's okay. So your posture, I don't have the best posture in the world, I'll be honest, but, <laughs> but I do sort of engage it more when I'm dancing than when I'm just sitting on, at my computer, which is the worst thing, right? But, so, um, you want everything to be nice and lifted, everything tall, everything sort of pulled up, but without being tense or, <laughs> yeah, frozen, okay? There's not, um, <laughs> uh, yes, okay. You wanna be, you know, everything lifted and tall and energy throughout, but without being tense or being, <clears throat> right? So, your pelvis, your, hips, right, is like a, ball, a bowl, okay? And you want the bowl to be upright. Otherwise, whatever is in the bowl is gonna spill out, okay? So, my lovely profile. So you want your hips and your pelvis to be straight. If it's tilted back, I'm exaggerating a little, but if it's tilted back, stuff is gonna fall out the front, right? If it's tilted forward, stuff is gonna fall out the back. Right, so nice and strong. Same thing with your ribs, right? They're just stacked on top of your pelvis, uh, and you don't want it to be too far that way, or too far concave, or whatever, yeah? Really nice and tall and lifted, and then your head is up on top of that, and you can think about being like a puppet on a string. There's a string running through your whole body, and it's being pulled up toward the ceiling at the top of your head, pulled up, yeah? And so everything is lifted, okay? So you wanna try to keep that position while we do all of the exercises we're gonna be doing now, okay? <laughs> we're gonna do some um, foot stuff, foot stuff. Um, I also wanna quickly go through the, the five positions in ballet, the five, and some of you may have seen this. Um, you have first position. With ballet, oh, that's right. With ballet, we usually have a nice, gentle turnout. Yes, can you see my feet? Uh, and you want them to be, it doesn't have to be wide, right? You are not aiming for some ridiculous, no, because that's gonna just hurt, okay? <laughs> Most of us aren't made that way. We certainly haven't been doing ballet since five nonstop and have built that up, right? Again, listen to your body. So 
it's just going to be a nice, gentle turnout, okay? What, what you want to look for is when you plie, when you bend your knees, that your knees are directly over your toes, right? If they fall in, that's not good and that can lead to injury. So you want to, if you, if you plie and your knees are not over your toes, shorten your angle, right? Bring your little triangle inward. Make sense? Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. I can't tell if you, <laughs> okay. Uh, and then similarly, we're going to open our feet out to the side and I'm just going to follow that line, right? Where my feet are pointed in their little turnout, that's the line I'm going to draw, okay? So the five positions, this is first position with the arms, they're here. Second position is open to the side, either side. It's a wide stance, again, slight turnout, arms at the side. Third position, which is not used very often, but I'll show you, is sort of halfway. My front heel is kind of in the arch of my back foot. Okay, and again, slight turnout, uh, and the arm is here. I think that's right. Uh, fourth position, there's an open fourth position, whereas I just put my foot directly forward and put the heel down, arm comes up, or crossed position where my feet is directly in front of my other foot, my front foot is directly in front of my back foot. Sorry, this is open fourth, this is crossed fourth. And then fifth position, both arms up over your head, right uh, foot is front of the other toe, uh, the front foot, the heel is touching the back foot toe. <laughs> front foot heel is touching the back foot toe. Arms overhead, relax your shoulders. Not this, right? Drop those shoulders down. And you can't see my arms, but they're nice and curved, rounded. And my arms are, my hands are relaxed. If you want to do like a little um, touch your, what's this, index finger, your middle finger, sorry, your middle finger to your thumb, you can, or just kind of have it nice and curved. Okay. When I move my arms while I'm down here, I'm going to move them from, so they're nice and rounded, even while I'm in like a neutral position, resting position, whatever. My arms are rounded. There's energy through my arms and through my hands and through my fingertips. Yes. And then when I move, I'm moving from the wrist, that's not a wrist, the elbow and the wrist, and then the rest sort of follow. The arms kind of gently, you know, there's energy through everything, but the wrist and the elbows are leading. Okay. And I've, I've changed my hands, like I turn, you know, my arm, my hands, like I move them out to the side and then my wrist is going up right all right so there you go a little bit about arms Whew. um okay so let's go back to our feet um i'm getting nice and sweaty no matter but don't know about you all right back to our feet we're gonna do uh ankle rolls nice big circles if you want to use a uh, you know, something to keep your balance, my little bookshelf or a chair or whatever, feel free. Um, or you can just keep your arms out or whatever. Uh, we're going to do nice big circles, eight in one direction. Try to stabilize your foot, isolate that ankle, and then eight in the other direction. Nice big circles. Then we'll change feet. We'll do it with music. Change feet, nice big circles. Back the other way, nice big circles. Um, <coughs> pardon me. We'll do some plies. Plie, again, knees over the toes. Keep everything still, right? Everything tall and lifted. Plie and up, and then releve straight up onto your toes and back down. Don't let anything curve here. 
not this, <laughs> right? Yeah, no plies like this. Everything just moves straight up and down, okay? Plie and up, releve. When you releve, you want your heels, your feet, right on top of the ball of your foot, ankles forward. Careful to let them, don't let them fall backward. I don't know if you can see that, but you don't want your ankles to fall back. Yeah, keep them nice and straight, straight line through the, to the toe, okay? So, plie, releve, we'll do a bunch of those, and then plie straight through to the releve, plie, up to releve, and then we'll hold it for a bit, try to balance there, very exciting. <laughs> and then we'll do um, pressed arches. Okay, and actually I, I tend to like um, parallel position, my feet not so much of a turnout for that, but it's up to you. We're gonna do press, I'm sort of digging the ball of my foot into the ground, and then I'm gonna roll through to the point, and then press back down to the, to the ball of the foot, and then heel down, all right? Press to the ball of the foot, and other foot, point, Press the toe and then heel down. Press and point, press, heel down, press and point, press, heel down. So the idea is that you're rolling through the foot, right? You wanna articulate, that was a word I couldn't find yesterday, articulate every little part of your foot so that it's, it's sort of separated in a way if that makes any sense, right? So you're really pushing through the foot to that pointed place, okay? And it's very important because anytime you leap, this is what we'll end up doing too, leap or jump or do any sort of setting, anything, anything like that, that's what happens with your foot, right? You have that nice, gentle, you know, working through the foot, pushing through the floor, and that's what gives you a nice, gentle, soft landing as opposed to uh, 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 whatever, yeah, I'm exaggerating. But yes, so it's very, that foot articulation is very important. Okay, enough babbling, let's do that. Um, a little bit of music, one second. Everyone feeling good? Right. Um, this music is a little crooked, by the way, so we'll just kind of go with it. Hopefully you can hear me. Ready for your ankle rolls. Here we go. And one, two, three. Nice big circles. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reverse, other direction, one. Six, seven, change feet, and one, two, three, nice and big circles. Five, six, seven, eight, reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, shake it out. Nice, gentle first position, and we'll do our plies. Plie and up, releve, heels down. Plie and up, plie, uh, releve, heel down. Plie, up, releve, heel down. Keep everything nice and tall, nice and lifted. Don't, don't stick your butt out. Plie and up, releve. Now go straight through. Plie, up to releve. Plie. Releve. I just do this with my hand, you don't have to. Releve. Plie. Releve. Plie. Releve. Nice strong ankles, no wobbling down there. And eight. And hold it. Hold that releve. Try to stay there. Hold your balance. Stay there. Nice and lifted. Keep breathing. Make sure you breathe. Look to your left. And look to your right. Are you holding it balance? And there's my kitten. My kitten. And relax. 
This is Aria, by the way. <laughs> All right, shake your foot out, shake your feet out. Let's do a little gentle stretch. Put your foot behind you and lean forward on the front foot. Try to feel the stretch up the back of the calf. Nice and gentle. Keep that back foot straight. If you want, you can sort of push the hip forward, the butt forward, and you'll feel a stretch right through here. It's your psoas muscle right there. And shake it out, other foot. Push forward on that front foot, heel on the floor in the back. Make sure you feel the stretch up the back of the leg. Again, listen to your body. You don't do anything that's gonna hurt too much. Good, shake it out. And let's do a little um, a quad stretch. Yes. Take your hand, your foot in your hand, your ankle in your hand, and gently pull it up to your push. Little stretch right here there. Good, shake it out. Do the other leg. Yes, definitely. Good, shake it out. And I saw a request for water, so take a quick moment and we'll get some water. Whoops, okay. Get a little drink of water, very good idea. <laughs> I do tend to just blast through, so thank you for that. <sighs> oh, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, if you've, if you've taken class with me, any sort of class with me before, then you'll recognize a lot of this stuff. <laughs> um, and my friend Liana from Maryland is here, and she, uh, hi, <laughs> my friend Liana from Maryland is here. She used to dance in my company, Centuries Historical Dance, so, uh, <laughs> and we did this warm-up for every uh, rehearsal. All right, so, Liana, I bet you can guess what's coming next, too. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to do some more ballet warm-up. I know a lot of it is, is a warm-up, and we're not getting to the stuff yet, but hopefully as the weeks continue, we'll get, especially if you come back, we'll get more used to it, because I won't have to teach every little piece, and you'll remember it, hopefully. Uh, and so it'll get more comfortable and then go faster. Uh, so, we'll do, all right, we have our nice gentle turnout, we have our arms, we will have our arms to the right, uh, to the second position, to the side, elbows lifted, yeah, and we're going to point, I'll scooch back just a bit, tiny bit, point the right, uh, the right foot forward, then flex the foot, point the foot again, and bring it back to your first position. Pardon me. Then we'll do two more. Those are called tendus, right? Tendu, flex, point, or tendu, and then close with a plie. And then we'll do two more tendus, point and plie, point and plie. Okay? Then we'll do our left foot, same thing. Tendu, flex, point, plie, out, plie, out, plie. Then we'll do it to the side, right side, well, whichever. And again, follow the line that your turnout is pointing to. That's your side, right? So it's not true side. It's more like a diagonal side. Tendu, flex, point, and close. Tendu, and close, tendu, and close. Then left foot, forward, uh, the, da -dee, da -da, da -dee, da -da, da 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 Then to the back, right? Hopefully you have enough room. I have just enough room. Um, uh, watch your tush back there, right? So I'm putting my foot directly behind me, not off to the side, right? Directly behind me, and I want to relax this because this tends to tighten and bunch up, and we don't want that. <laughs> okay, so I tend to do this. I like smack myself on the butt, yeah? Point, flex, point, and close, point, and close. And you can lean forward just a little bit to sort of make room for everything. 
Right foot, then left foot, whoops. Flex, point, close, point, close, point, close, and then side again, okay? So it's front, front, side, side, back, back, side, side. Okay, then we'll do it a second time, but each time it's tendu, flex, tendu, plie, and then a slight lift, lift off the floor. Lift, it's called a dégagé. And then other foot, and lift, okay? Front, front, side, side, back, back, side, side. So a tiny little lift, a little dégagé, okay? And you wanna keep your foot along the floor for as long as you can, right? It's not a big lift, it's just a small lift. Keep your hips square, don't let them drop, right? Um, let's do it. <laughs> There's a lot to think about. That's what dance is. It's thinking about a hundred things at once. So music, and then we'll do this. Uh, I think there's a, yeah, there's a little introduction on this. Ready? Ready, and tendu, flex, point, plie, tendu, plie, tendu, plie. Other foot, front, and close, out and close, out to the side, and one, flex, point, and close, point, and close, point, and close, other side, one, three, and four, five, six, seven, to the back, and back, relax your tush, right? Left foot, back, flex, Point and close. Point, close. To the right and side. And last side, last time. Two, three, and four, five, six, seven. Good. Relax. Relax your arms. Shake it out. Do a little wiggle. <laughs> Nice and relax. And we'll do it again. This time with the degaches. Five, three, and four. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and tendu. Flex, point, and close, and lift, and close. Just a small lift. Other foot, front. Not sure what happened, but it got lighter. Lift. And close. Lift and to the right, to the side. Lift and close. Lift. Make sure you're breathing. Keep breathing, right? Lift and close. Lift to the back and back. And lift. Close. Other foot. Back. Relax your tush. Lift. Woo, how are we doing? Last time, side. Flex. Lift. Good, and relax. Shake it out. Yes, breathing is a really, really good idea. <laughs> Definitely make sure to breathe. I should remind you more often. And yet, I shouldn't need to remind you. <laughs> no, it's all good. We're all focusing, we're concentrating. Oh, it's all good. And I often don't recommend sitting down in the middle because you don't want to cool down, but I want you to see my face. All right, Whew. take a drink of water. Oh, look, the time is flying, okay. Um, 
Mm. I want to do one more uh, warm uh, one more warm up thing. <sighs> Slides. I love these. Hopefully, you have enough room for it. It takes a little bit more room. I have barely enough. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we're going to do sliding, right? So, oh, let me. Um, so I'm going to slide my foot forward and back. So if you notice, I, I don't change feet forward. I just sort of touch with that foot and then go back onto that foot. And this one also just touches. And then I go to the side. And it's a chasse to the side. Side together side. Okay? Then my other foot is free. And I do the same thing forward. Forward, touch, back, touch. And then side together side. Touch. Then I go to the back. Back and forward. And side together side. Pardon me. Then other foot back and forward. And side together side. Oh, that water is messing with me. Okay, so <laughs> I've made a big H, basically, a giant H across the floor. But I'm doing the, doing the top half of the H first, and sort of reinforcing it, and then doing the bottom half of the H. Yeah. So that's what's happening, and we'll do it a couple of different tempos. Maybe we'll try it. Oh, okay. Yes. Got it. Uh, there's a request to face sideways and do it. So, um, I think I have room. It's harder to see my feet that way. Okay, let me do it this way. So, I'm going to go with my first foot forward, touch, back, touch, and then side together, side. And now I'm out of camera. Back, forward, and then side together, side. Sorry, I think I did it wrong. I'm going to go forward, let's say, forward, back, I'm sorry, forward, back, and side together, side, then other foot forward, back, side together, side. then that first foot backward, and side together, side, and second foot backward, and side together, side. Yes? Did that help? <laughs> okay, um, hopefully that helped. All right, so we're gonna do that with a couple of different pieces of music. Uh, actually, the same piece, and then maybe a faster one, maybe? Did I find a faster one? Yeah. Um, here we go. Here we go. Five, six, first foot, forward, back, Side together, side, second foot forward, back and side together, back to the back. Side together, side and back. Side together. And this one's more relaxed, right? You can sort of let your body go a little bit. You can let your arms go, do whatever they feel like. To the back. Feeling good? Yes. Yes, it is always the foot on the inside of the H that moves first. Correct. Excellent. Um, let's try it. Let me see. I think this is faster music. It's a little crooked, though, is the problem, but... Six. Ready, go. Forward. And side together, side and left foot forward. And back. And back with the inside foot. Inside to the H. <laughs> front. And front. And back. Here we go. Another foot back. And tag it together. There we go. Yes. And it's over there. Are we doing? 
Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> uh, okay, everyone feeling good? I don't know, I can't see you do a thumbs up, but hopefully you're feeling good. Um, I love those. I love those, yes. I love those slides because they're, they're much more sort of relaxed. Like after all this, you know, not tension, I don't wanna say tensing up, but we're thinking about it and we are holding everything lifted and strong. After all of that, it's just free. Yeah, and it's so fun. Um, okay, so the names of the tunes. Yes, that last one was King of Poland. Love that dance, it's so fun. Um, <laughs> King of Poland, before that, let's see, the, the first thing we did with the stretching was chestnut. Um, yeah, chestnut or um, All Saints Day is the same tune, dance. Um, then the feet, the ankle rolls, we did um, uh, St. Martin's Lane with the uh, ballet warm up, the tendu flex, point close, all that stuff. We did um, the first lady. And then this one was King of Poland. Uh, the first set of slides was also the first lady and then King of Poland's. All four of those are from Bear Necessities Nightcap. There's the camera. Bear Necessities Nightcap CD, which is their CD of dance music that's more played for concert listening. Uh, it's not entirely meant for dancing. They play around with the tunes a lot and it's really beautiful. But if you're trying to do, <laughs> you know, if you're actually dancing the dances, it's complicated, but it's a gorgeous recording. Uh, I'm using, <coughs> pardon me, I'm using all Bare Necessities um, because they're wonderful and because I was able to reach them and get permission from them easily. Uh, as I said earlier, if you're willing to give a little donation to them or to me, we would be grateful. Uh, and I won't say any more about that. We'll put up a splash screen at the end um, with that information. All right, so feeling good? <laughs> um, let's see, we don't have a lot of time left, so I just want to do some walking. Hopefully, as I said, this will go faster as we get comfortable with it, um, and then we can get more into other stuff. I want to do some walking. Let's talk about walking, um, because English country dance is mostly walking, right? But we don't necessarily think about how we're doing it. So I want you to just um, get up and walk around. I'm not gonna put any music on. I just want just walk normally, walk like you would walk. You know, I, <laughs> and, and think about what your body is doing as you're walking, what's happening, right? Uh, use the chat bar if you want to chime in. What's happening when you walk? You can go in a circle, you can go, I don't want you to get dizzy though, so you can go forward and backward, you know, just, if you wanna leave the room for a second, <laughs> just for space, you know, and then come back. <laughs> what happens when you walk? So, for example, I naturally, you know, my arms swing opposite to what my feet are doing, right? Not like a soldier. <laughs> They're just kind of moving. <clears throat> Sorry, okay. Um, yeah, so if my, my arms, whoops, hello wall. <laughs> my arms swing, um, my hips move a little bit. I, I tend to sort of, there's a little rocking and rolling happening, right? <laughs> Just a little sort of galumph, right? Yeah, yeah, the movement, yes. Somebody mentioned the movement originates from the hip, and yes, that's often true, it should be anyway. That's certainly a good thing. And I teach, <clears throat> I teach ballroom dancing too. I teach uh, one step, which is just kind of a, you know, a one, two, one, two. And I get that all the time where people just bend at the knee and step. And I'm like, what are you doing? That's not how you would walk. <laughs> well, it's harder backwards, but anyway. So yeah, you wanna stretch from the hip, right? Obviously when we're going forward, we reach from, it goes, goes sort of a straight leg. Um, I usually put my heel down first, right? Yeah, usually. All right, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, so now I'm gonna put some music on and I want you to just walk again, but this time with the music and notice if anything changes, how do you move differently with the music? 
Hold on one second. Oh, if you know the dance, don't think about it. <laughs> Try not to think about what tune is this? How do I, what are the steps? Yeah, we're just walking. Okay, here we go. I hope it was nice. I could actually see you. <laughs> but how was that? Was that different? <clears throat> Did that feel different? Obviously, good. Yes. Obviously, it, it moves faster. The music is faster, right? So we need to move our move faster, which often means shortening our steps a little bit. Yeah. What I noticed, and this is part of why you're all here probably. Um, what I noticed, oh wait, let's see. I found myself holding my back straighter and putting weight on the balls of my feet. Yes. Toe first. Yes. Yes. Excellent. I, uh, I go back and forth on the toe first, heel first, and I do it differently. Uh, depends on what I'm doing. Cause I goof around, you know, I play around and stuff too, but yes, sometimes I'll, well backward, obviously you have to put the toe first, but sometimes I'll go heel first. Sometimes I'll do toe first. I don't know if you can see my feet, but yeah. Um, and it, so it changes. And they're, they're definitely, with ballroom and other styles of dance, they're different, whoops, different um, thinking on it. Some, some people insist, like I believe uh, Arthur Murray and things like that, insist on heel first. Other places you want the toe first, it depends. With this, I, I just sort of, go it can vary <laughs> um but yes i definitely lift everything up taller uh and what i find too is there's a little bit of a lift in my step right a lift that sounds like such a cliche but it's true right it's that and it comes back to what we were doing before with the point flex point heel down right push to the uh straight to the point right this prancing Oh my God, did we skip that? Oh shoot, I think we skipped it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I showed it to you and then I, did we do it with the music? Oh crap, anyway, we'll have to do it next week. But it's that roll through the foot, right? That is what happens. <laughs> that is what happens, right? When I'm walking to music, but obviously at a different tempo, but I still have that little, roll through the foot happening as I walk. And so that's how I get a tiny little bounce. And it's not an exaggerated bounce. It's just <laughs> natural or maybe a step above natural. Yeah. So I kind of push off the back foot or the front foot if I'm going backward. Yeah. And it's, Part of what I'm doing, part of what I'm doing as that's happening is finding the exact moment to put my foot down, right? The beat is gonna change, the tempo changes, the rhythm changes, all of that stuff. So I have to adjust my steps. The space of the room changes. So I have to adjust my steps in all sorts of different tiny little ways in order to fill the music and not be early, not be late, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, and again, well, and I, at this point I'm not thinking about it because I've been doing it long enough that it just sort of happens. You might have to think about it if you're not comfortable with that yet, but, but it's a lot to think about while stuff's going on. So, oh boy, time is almost out. Um, so what I want to do, we only have about five minutes left, which is unfortunate. Um, I wanted to talk, uh, 
I wanted to talk uh, about music, but we won't have time. Uh, we can do more of that next in the coming weeks. Um, so what I want to do now is just take, play some more music. I'm going to play that same tune again, then I'm going to play a couple of different tunes. And I just want you to think about how you're walking. You can just walk, if you want to do, back to back or siding. Hopefully everybody knows what I'm talking about. I think we have one or two people who have never done English country dancing before, but I think most of you have. Um, or just keep walking wherever you want to go. Walk in a circle, walk forward and back, walk zigzag, whatever. Yeah, sideways, whatever. And just try to get that little bounce, that little roll through the foot as you're walking, okay? So I'm gonna put that same tune on. Right on time with the music, not early or late. You want to throw in a set? That's fine. And you can change it too, right? All right, let's stop for a second. So, I noticed also that when I, when I started making more curving motions, as if I were doing a figure eight or a hay, I smoothed my steps out a little bit, right? So I had slightly less of that, um, that little bounce, right? A little less of it, but it was still there. It's still different from regular walking, you know, down wherever to the, down the hall or whatever. Yeah? Let me put on a different piece of music. Let's see. Music. So this one's obviously slower. Good. So again, I'm, uh, my feet, it's changing a little bit to go with the music. Slower tempo means I have a little longer to get to each step, right? And you have to sort of find it just, just in time, kind of, to land on the beat. Not be early, not be late, yeah? Let's try another piece of music. Let's do, oh, sure. Let's do this. So that was, uh, that tune was Up With Ailey. Oh, um, I started with this section with Elverton Grove and then played Bar A Bar. And then that was Up With Ailey. And Up With Ailey, if you notice, was in three, basically. Uh, it was in nine, eight. Uh, no, I think it's three, two, actually, sorry. Um, but that's getting a little complicated. We'll talk more about that stuff next week, <laughs> hopefully. Um, yeah, it's three, two. Um, and so if it's okay that we go one or two more minutes, is that okay? Well, uh, you can't tell. I'm just gonna go just another minute or two um, because somebody asked for a three, four tune and then waltz gets complicated. Cool, waltz gets a little complicated because you can either, um, and it, to be honest, it changes like I do it, 
it depends on what I do, <laughs> right? And it depends on the dance a little bit, it depends on what I feel like doing personally. So, um, uh, but sometimes, let me play a little bit first. Whoops. Just a little. So obviously a waltz is different from 9-8 or 3-2. They all feel like three beats, and we'll talk about this more in the weeks to come, but a waltz has a boom, pa, pa, boom, pa, pa, that kind of boom, pa, pa. There's more of a beat, you know, a downbeat on the first beat, uh, uh, mm, right? Which gives it that waltz flavor. And so often we want to do you know, a waltz, two, three, big, small, small, big, small, small, big, small, small. But there are often times when I just want a nice, smooth walk, 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 okay? So what I want you to do really quickly right now, I'm gonna put that on again, and I want you to just think about nice, even, flat uh, walking as opposed to a down, up, up walking, okay? Here we go. Flat walls, nice, even, even steps. I dash. Yeah. So, how was that? <sighs> so, again, it's a little different. Um, yeah, it's a little different for, for waltz and it depends a little bit on what, what you're doing and what you feel like doing. So, um, and we can talk about that more in the weeks to come. Um, so I think we're going to end it here. What you should do, and I'm sorry I didn't have time, is do a little bit of a cool down, you know, do some stretches, do your little calf stretches, not little, do your calf stretches, that little psoas muscle. Um, right? Uh, do your, what do you call it, quad muscle stretch, right? Do them, take your time with them, yeah? And then even do some of these that we did at the beginning, reach and then fall down and stretch. Oh man, that feels good. <laughs> yeah? These kinds of things, right? So you cool down a little bit also. And then, uh, yeah. That's about it. I will send in, in just a moment or two, I will send out an email about uh, if you want to hang out and chat, we can do that. I'll send a different Zoom link for that and uh, we can all chat and, you know, just chill. <laughs> a few minutes to get back going, but we hope people will join us. Yes, and thank you. And again, if you're willing, um, if you're, yes, we'll play a little music and we'll put the splash screen up there. And if you're willing or able, I know it's tough for everybody right now, but if you're willing or able to give a little um, donation, um, I would charge $10 for this. But if I, you know, any dollar helps, um, either to me or to Bare Necessities, that would be immensely appreciated. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you join me again next week. some music on. Yes. What should we do?
Thank you. 